Mastering the art of logical structure in your presentations. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we are going to delve into an incredibly important aspect of public speaking and presentations, organizing the body of your presentation. Specifically, we'll talk about using a logical structure. This may sound a bit technical, but don't worry. We're going to break it down step by step, making it easy and fun. So, why does a logical structure matter in your presentation? Well, a logical structure helps in creating a smooth, coherent, and easy to follow flow of ideas. Without it, your audience might lose track of your main points or even get confused. A well-structured presentation helps your audience to follow your thoughts, remember your points, and ultimately be persuaded by your arguments. When we talk about logical structure, we essentially refer to the process of organizing your ideas and points in a coherent, logical manner. This usually involves three main parts, introduction, body, and conclusion. You've probably heard of these before. The introduction sets the stage, introduces your topic, and states your main points or arguments. The body is where you elaborate on your points, providing evidence, examples, or explanations. This is the meat of your presentation. Finally, the conclusion summarizes everything you've said, reinforces your points, and may include a call to action. Now that we know the basics, let's look at some methods of organizing your content logically. Chronological order. You might choose to present your points in the order they happened in time. This is useful for topics that involve a sequence of events or steps. Problem solution structure. You present a problem and then propose a solution. This is a persuasive style of organizing your presentation. Cause effect structure. You first identify a situation or event, cause, and then you discuss its consequences, effect. Topical structure. Here, you break down your topic into smaller subtopics and discuss each in its own right. Remember, the key is to choose a structure that best fits your topic and your audience. Maintaining a logical flow is just as important as setting up a logical structure. You should ensure that each point or idea leads smoothly into the next. Use transitional words and phrases like, furthermore, on the other hand, for example, in conclusion, etc. These act like signposts, guiding your audience through your presentation. So, there you have it. The art of using a logical structure in your presentations. Remember, your goal is to make it as easy as possible for your audience to follow and understand your ideas. The clearer and more structured your presentation is, the more impact it will have. Keep practicing and experimenting with different structures until you find what works best for you. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you found this video helpful. See you in our next lesson.